While exploring the Hollow Earth, Kong uncovers an area home to his own species of titan-sized apes and monkeys, only they're being enslaved by a big bad monkey. To take down said monkey, Kong needs to team up with Godzilla, who has been preparing for this fight for a long time. There are also humans here and there, because there has to be. Godzilla x Kong is a fun action and special effect heavy movie that's perfectly fine if you want to watch something with little attention or brain power required. It's not the most sophisticated film ever, it doesn't have a story that's all that interesting or layered, and its characters aren't all that compelling either. But its action and set pieces and its core idea is enjoyable. This is a Kong movie. Kong is the main character, the main focus, and Godzilla only pops up here and there. That has to be said. The team up aspect doesn't happen until the third act. Meanwhile, the humans are investigating the Hollow Earth, trying to help Kong on his quest, while also looking into the strange dreams and occurrences surrounding one of them. The human story is not all that engaging or interesting, in part because the human characters are more annoying and one note than compelling or likable. Dan Stevens is the standout as an Ace Ventura style vet. He has some of the best human moments with cool backing music, set pieces, one-liners, and that's about it. He seems to be the only character allowed to have fun in what is a bonkers, corny, cheesy action movie. Everyone else is forced to be very serious and dry, making them a bit of a ball. The CGI and special effects are good, but that glossy look gives the whole film an artificial style. The action scenes are good, enjoyable, and occasionally creative. Seeing Kong wield a variety of weapons, including other characters and items in the environment is cool and fun. The final act up the ante too, showing some minor team up moves with Godzilla. Godzilla x Kong is unlikely to blow your mind. In fact, you're best off watching this with your mind on standby. It has some fun moments, especially in the action scenes, but its story and characters are just too corny, goofy and cheesy to make this a genuinely good film.